introduction to MATLAB vectors and the subscripting of MATLAB vectors. So I'm going to start off and show you a few different ways to create MATLAB vectors. One simple way is to use a range of integers. I can make a range of integers using the colon operator a equals 1 colon 5. Now this assigns to the variable a the set of integers starting at 1 and ending at 5. Another way to create a vector is to use the linspace command. So here's b equals, I'm assigning to b rather, linspace, and we give it the initial or the, the low value, we'll say 0, and the high value 1 with the number of points, and let's say 12 points. So now we have 12 evenly spaced points between and including 0 and 1. Let's discuss matrix subscripting. That is, we can refer to individual or uh, sets of elements in A or B by putting an index value in parentheses. Now, in this case, index value is not defined, so I would get an error, but Let's put in uh, specific values that will work. In MATLAB, subscripting has to be one of two things. Uh, the index value can be either a set of integers, or it can be a set of logical values, which are either 0 or 1. Let's start with integers. So if I type 1 in here, I get the first element of B, which is 0. The second element can be accessed by using B, open parentheses, to close parentheses, and so on. Here's the fourth element of B. And the last element, well, we know there are 12 elements, so I type B equals 12. I'm going to type B again just so we can see its values. But what if I don't know how long B is? Well, I can get its length using the length command. So I'll say n equals length of b, and that tells me that n is 12. So now I can say, well, I want the nth value where n is 12 of b, and it's 1. Another nice way to get elements at the end of the vector is to use the end keyword. So here's b end, and that returns the last element of b. I can also say b end minus 1, and that's the second to the last element, b end minus 2. Another thing we can do is use ranges of indices. So let's say b 3 through 5, and that gets me the third, fourth, and fifth elements of b. There's showing b again. I can give b an array of integers. Let's give it 9, 3, 4, 7, 2, and 1. This will give me, this will return the ninth, third, fourth, seventh, second, and first elements of b. So here's, first off we have element 9, then element 3, and so on. Let's also do a range where we do end minus 5 to end minus 2. And that gets me these elements right there. So end refers to the last element, end minus 2 refers to this element, and end minus 5, this element. Now let's briefly consider logical indexing or logical subscripting. This is an incredibly powerful feature of MATLAB. Okay, so I just cleared the screen, and here again is my vector b. 
let's start with a logical expression. My expression equals b less than or equal to 0 0.5. And notice this returns a vector where the value is 1 for any value of b that is less than 0 0.5. And it's 0 for any value that's you know, greater or basically that doesn't meet this logical condition. So this is a logical array or a logical vector and we can actually use that to subscript b. And notice it just returns the values of b which are less than 0 0.5. Likewise, I can index b and let's put two conditions in so let's use the and command and let's say b is less than one quarter and the second command is going to be b is greater than three quarters and as it turns out there are no elements in here because i gave it a, a contradictory um, i gave it a contradictory condition so let's make that a correct condition, greater than a quarter and less than three quarters. And this returns all those numbers in that range. We can also use this in an assignment. So let's set, um, let's make C equals B, so C is a copy of B. And let's set uh, all the values between one quarter and two quarter or three quarters to be equal to um, zero. Why not? So what you're gonna see is this set of values is going to become uh, sorry, this set of values is going to become zero once I press enter. So there it is. So that's logical subscripting in MATLAB.